so real natural follow on from the previous topic now is really how do you determine the right MDF activities and that word right means for, for you as a company what's going to be right for you to get your channel to work with you to achieve the goals that you want and what are those right activities that you know give guidance and sort of a steer to your partner community that you know could work you know to drive their business goals to support your business goals uh Mimish, if i could start here with you in this one if you can give us some insight into you know how you do this today how do you know what are the right mdf activities to move the needle for what you want to do sure thanks john yeah um so i think what we have instituted um with the change to our process and to the program itself is joint um, uh, marketing and business planning with our partners. And how does that align to the right activities? I think first and foremost, you have to be very clear as a company. So we started our new fiscal year, March 1st, very clear ahead of time what the goals of the company is, what are we trying to accomplish through these joint marketing and business planning that we've instituted with our partners. So this is something that we're doing quarterly. So we're adding some discipline there is to be very clear that they understand what our goals are. They understand how our goals can translate into opportunities for them as well. I think it's very important that you are able to translate that to, our, to your partners. Based on that, right, once you, you, you know, you set that conversation, and by the way, we do that in alignment between channel sales and film marketing um, work hand in hand. We identify the partners we're going to target. We have a, a meeting that is established. We discuss the goals. We look at the parameters of the partner themselves, right? Because you also have to understand that. Another key thing as well is understanding the marketing maturity of that partner as well, right? Yes. So all of that is determined. And then through that process, we've created a framework of a plan where we then decide, okay, based on the various activities that they can leverage um, MDF for, whether it's to drive demand and whether it's to do enablement, um, you know, whether it's biz, 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 business development, we look at those strategies and we create a plan. And through that, we then decide exactly what we're going to allocate quarter on quarter. But the key thing with that is getting consensus, right? So this is not done in a vacuum. It's not directed to the partners. It's a conversation. And then you test the model. I think another key piece that we're super excited um, about in, in, in this year, given the, the new platform that uh, we've built together with Channel Mechanics is that ability to now come back and measure. So I think it's a very powerful thing to sit down and do joint planning and business planning with your partners, but be also very transparent. Come back and say, this worked, this didn't work, why didn't it work, right? Or wow, this worked, maybe we double down on that. And then we take those learnings and we share it with other partners as well. Partners also have input, so we have to listen, right? Um, it, you've got to be careful that it's not just one directional, it's bi-directional, right? What has worked for them? How does it align to what we're asking them to do? And then modify that and walk away with a joint agreement that makes sense for all. So um, that's been, that's been um, I, I think, uh, game changing for us. We see our partners very excited. We see our sales organization very excited. And it gives our film marketing managers tremendous leverage and value in um, how they engage with their partners. So we're excited. We're testing that model. And so far, it's going well. <clears throat> no, that's super insight, uh, Mimish. And you, you made a very interesting point understanding the marketing maturity of partners. I think a lot of that got exposed in the last two years when a lot of partners relied on physical events. And when that disappeared, digital marketing really got exposed. So, yeah, great insight. Uh, Kenneth, um, your experience in terms of this particular topic, what are you seeing people doing around ensuring activities or yeah, I think it, just something Memish said interestingly there, John, to see sales excited about, you know, what marketing are doing. Just, you know, so often we don't hear that. It's it's lovely to hear it. It's almost, you know, lets you know that the program is working, that, that the marketing activities are, are driving the right behavior, which is ultimately, you know, demand generation into the sales pipeline. Um, so coming back to your question, John, yeah, it really depends on, on the vendor because you got to think about, you know, those activities to line up with your um, your company strategy or your channel strategy as, as it may be. 
Um, so really, it's you know, it's hard to say. They, they vary greatly. Everything from you know, lead generation. Ryan touched on one there earlier around they're trying to drive towards cloud. So focused activities on their area. So really, you know, those those activities are very focused depending on the vendor on on what what it is that they want to drive uh, into the market, etc. It's about having a good mix of activities that will you know align to your funnel. What kind of funnel are you trying to? create you know what's your commitment to sales so you know obviously certain activities drive different types of funnel activity so you know having a good blend that's aligned to your strategy there is uh, always a good thing as well super thanks everybody for those inputs mm -hmm.